Hello everyone and welcome to the 72nd episode of the Top 5 Weekly. I hope you're all well and staying safe. In this series, each week we look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam. We analyze each one of the submissions, we discover their features and finally test them out here in the world of Stormworks. Now, if you're enjoying this videos, comment below and anything else you'd like to see any of my future videos, while you're there, don't forget that like and subscribe button and click the little bell icon to be notified of my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with the first creation of this episode. And starting off with the first creation of the episode, we have the WIM AMPH track based amphibian. This is a creation done by Cremond, quite well known on the workshop already. Now, this is amphibious tracked vehicle, land, and also water. A couple different features on there apparently 35 kilometers per an hour on ground or on water, which is pretty cool. Uh, four doors, there's flares, beacon locator, there's a large cargo area in there. So, let's go and check this one out and see how it works here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the first creation, this thing looks really cool. I love how it's nice and elevated above these tracks here uh, it's got a really nice stance to it actually really cool uh, in the front we seem to have some lights a couple sensors and we also have a winch in and out which seems like it's got some mag balls on it uh, we also have some rear view mirrors uh, which are actually monitors I'm wondering where the cameras are maybe the cameras are at the back somewhere yeah so we have two cameras at the back okay cool uh, seems like we have a door to get in and out that's pretty cool Diesel refueling here underneath, we have some connectors, up and down winches, okay, moving around a little ladder, it looks like another hatch to get out, but, oh, okay, that's pretty cool, so it literally goes and opens up and we can walk in, we'll go in there in a few seconds, uh, a little more detailing, tons of paint blocks around this, it looks like another hatch to get in, so yeah, let's go and get inside, let's see what we have, so jumping up, uh, we have high voltage, so emergency battery, okay. We also have a hatch here at the top. Nice little seating area. We have a bed here if we need it. We have a door to get out, another door to get out, and then we have the main driving compartment. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's get this door closed and we'll get moving. Cool, so that all goes and lifts itself. We've got some diving equipment, some polar gear here too, which is pretty nice. Uh, driver's seat. So we have handbrake, beacon locator, ignition, and that's it. We have some hotkeys, cruise, light, flare, and heater. So let's go and get our ignition on. That's pretty cool. Oh, everything goes and automatically does everything by itself. Okay. Uh, we have lights. So that's exterior lights, no interior lights. Um, well, it seems like the one in the back there is on. Okay. Cool, so I'm guessing we can just go. Oh yeah, we can. It's nice speedo. Gears are automatic. Turning. Nice. I like how it goes and actually shows there. That's nice. Okay, so it's moving really well actually. Nice and smooth. Very stable. I'm guessing cruise just keeps our throttle up. Okay, that's easy. Uh, flares. Let's go and actually just see how it's going to handle the water jump here. First we have to jump onto this land part and then into the water. And wow, that was very seamless. It's literally dropped its thing at the back here, which has got its propellers on. That is awesome. So I'm guessing it's got a, it must have a water sensor. And then as soon as it detects water, it just goes and kicks into the amphibious mode or should I say fluid as soon as it detects fluid let's see how it handles when we get back up here yeah that was pretty much automatic wow that is really nice obviously off-road no problem because it's a tracked vehicle no, it's it's not too slow but it's obviously not too fast either but yeah that's awesome lovely detailing on it and it just works it's all just nice and easy you don't have to mess about with anything that you get in and drive well this is a really cool creation definitely a nice one to start this episode off with let's go and move on to the next one 
And moving on to the next creation, we have the 9 meter yacht. This is a creation done by CDN. Uh, not much on the workshop here, apparently feature wise it's got a bathroom, a kitchen, living area inside there and of course it's a yacht. Uh, fuel range we have let's see 14 kilometers uh, along with that is a top speed around 25 meters per second. Uh, as it says in the name the length is 9 meters, width is 3.25. Um, so yeah pretty cool. Let's go and spawn this one and see how it drives here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the yacht. This thing is so small and so cute. It's oh, It looks really nice i love it he's got it just looks really good i love the paint scheme on it it's nice and smooth around the edges let's go and jump on it let's see what we have so getting on the back here so we have electric connector and looks like a refueling connector it's a little bit hard to actually get in here without crouching uh we got some deck lights speed control clutch okay nav lights Searchlights, roll stabilization. I don't know if that's really working too well because we are rolling. But we'll see when we get inside and we'll start actually moving around. Can we get in here? But it looks like it's underwater. Um, go in. Uh, can we close that door? I'd love to close that door. Okay, and we're just sink. Are we sinking? Looks like we're sinking. Maybe I shouldn't have opened that door. I would think it... Well, it looks like it has a way to obviously stop itself from... Oh, wait. It's coming back up. Okay, let's go. I think... Yeah, we're upright again. Okay, wow. Um, interesting. Okay. So, I think he knows that obviously this is underwater. That's why he's got that roll stabilization. But that's pretty cool. I don't know if those do anything. Oh, hold on. TV. Ooh, that's cool. Nice little TV that folds in. Okay, let's go back up, but uh, we're going to let water in. We're probably going to capsize again. Let's see if we can get back up. Okay, let's check how this drives. So, trim, clutch, heating, water pumps, yeah, gear up, gear down, speed control, deck lights. Can get deck lights on. Uh, is there any ignition? Oh, there we go. And I think we can just use WSAD if I'm correct. Oh, that's quick. Wow, I wasn't expecting it to be that quick, actually. That's cool. So we got the trim. The clutch is good. Speed control. Okay, so we can just put the speed control and it's just going to drive itself. Awesome. Gear up, get... Oh, we can actually go quicker. Can we go up again? Ooh. Can we go up again? We can. Okay, so five years. That's really quick. And so small. Turns well. Oh. Okay. What is it? What is powering it? Uh, looks like some hidden propellers somewhere inside the yacht itself. That's awesome. I like how I really like how small it is. A little front connector there, just in case you need to tow it. It's pretty much good. Yeah, it's got everything you need. It's a pity about the water thing over here, but he can't do anything about that because I guess when you're driving, it's actually fine. Not much water gets inside there. Doesn't do anything. Uh, there's no bed. No, there's no bed in here. And we've got a toilet. Okay. Um, yeah, awesome. Awesome little creation. I really like this one. This would be a nice start a little starter boat to jump around the islands with. Uh, cool. Well done. well done on that one. Good job. Let's move on to the next creation. And moving on to the next creation, we have the Alpine Veil. This is a creation done by Megahertz. Now, this is meant to be a small offshore platform vessel. Uh, looks really cool. Tons of features that he's listed here on the workshop. Um, dynamic positioning, dynamic stabilization, there's a cargo deck in there, there's uh, deployable ribs, radio stuff, there's screens, monitors, you name it, it looks like it's got it in here. So it's a full featured ship. So let's spawn this one in and see how it works here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the next creation, you can see this is quite a big utility ship. Uh, it's got a really cool back deck to it. Looks like it's got a ton of detailing around it too. I really like the hull shape. The hull shape looks really cool especially with this little dip here. 
Uh, yeah, it's a really nice design. Uh, I, I really like it when creators pay attention and they actually do a proper hull instead of just doing a box underneath the ship because usually most of the time it's not visible. Uh, but I really like it when they do that. So let's start at the back here. Seems like we have a connector and just ups and downs. We also have a winch here that can actually bring some cargo back onto the back deck here. Uh, seems like we have ballast, okay. Intercom, spotlights, uh, pressure wash. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then the stern gate that you can open and close. Uh, looks like exactly the same on the opposite side here. And is there actually walkways inside here? There is, okay. So if you have cargo on the back deck here, you can actually walk through, which is pretty cool. Uh, what else do we have? So looks like we have a boarding ramp. Same on the other side. And okay, so we've got a cargo deck here. I don't know why it would be open by default, but let's let's close that off and we'll come back to that just now. It looks like another winch system here uh, with a spotlight. We also have some mount spotlights and backup generators. Okay. Some equipment and then what is this? I'm guessing just some more equipment and things inside here for detailing. Uh, we also have that little rib that's up there. That's pretty cool. Uh, so you can go and use that crane to actually bring it off as far as I'm aware. Uh, and it seems like it's got everything. So it's got what five seats in it, plus all the stuff you need to actually get moving. Uh, we have something here connected with electrics and same there. Looks like a door to get in. We'll go inside just now. Let's just have a look around the outside. So we've got some spotlights with some uh, throttle levers. Ooh, bridge looks really nice. Okay, uh, so we'll come back to the bridge. Let's go down and let's see what else we have. So we could jump into the cargo hatch, but I think we'll come back to that. We'll go into the main deck door. And let's see. Oh, we could turn the lights off. Okay, we do lose about three, four FPS when we turn the lights on. Well, that's not too bad. So we have a, looks like what? There's some equipment room inside here. Uh, some more equipment. We have, what's this? Storage? Yeah, storage of some sort. And looks like some tanks, some more tanks inside here. And then we can actually move our way down. And in the front here, I'm guessing this is the anchor system of some sort. And some more just like cargo and stuff that you can store in here. Seems like we have some more tanks and things. And this is the elevator for the cargo. That's cool. Cargo area. Got some more cargo storage inside there. Uh, let's go inside here. Deck lights. What is in so chemical storage? Okay. And engineering door. Okay, so like a little engineering room. Nice. And then the main, I'm guessing, main engine room. Yeah, that looks cool. Let's go and explore it and then we'll come back to all these controls. So nice detailing here in the engine room. Looks like another hatch there, maybe for sinking possibly. And looks like just a logic room of some sort. Nice. Very nicely detailed. Let's go back up and let's see the controls and things in here. So it looks like we have engine throttles and things on. Uh, case of fire we've got our fuel pumps let's we'll get all those on while we're down here uh we done what do we have here so fuel management so we'll get all these breakers on so we can actually use it uh let's see let's get intercom monitors get the monitors on okay so you can actually see everything from here uh ignition and throttles i don't know if we need that on now so i'll leave that off and we'll come back down here if we need to i like how these doors interlock so actually can't flood that area well let's go up and see what else we have so we've been over here we came in from there we just have a toilet in there and looks like a medical room oh with a little eye test that's nice uh just guessing detailing is that cool Close that door. Can we actually close most of these doors? Let's see. Just in case. Yeah, let's go up to the next level and see what we have here. So, looks like a kitchen with a galley of some sort, even a little sitting area. Nice, actually, very nice area here. It's really cool. 
We have a TV. It's got a game on it. Oh, awesome. Amazing detail. Uh, bedroom, 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 and bedroom. And lavatory with the T. Oh, no. Sink? Okay. For one second there, I was like, sink? Oh, <laughs> sinking ship? No, don't want to do that. And I realized there's a sink. Okay. Uh, didn't seem like it did anything, but okay. Let's go up to the next level. And I'm guessing, yeah, this is the bridge. So we have bridge lights, which apparently are on. Yeah, okay. We have even a hatch to get up to the top. Well, is there actually anything up here? Yeah, there is a little bit of stuff. So it looks like we have water cannon control from here. Okay. Let's go and jump back down into our bridge. And nothing else on. Okay, so there's another thing here. So aft bridge lights. Half night lights, okay. Looks like we have what's this weather screen, okay. NJ weather screen, nice. Our radio, it's alternate, okay. We have our infrared mode, aft camera, nice zoom in, zoom out. We've got the ISO connectors, okay, for all of that. Uh, we have Alpine Veil, first mate, and captain. So many controls here. Yeah, let's get in the captain. Seat goes and turns. Really cool. Uh, emergency beacons. Distress. Prop lock out. Okay. Maneuvering. Radar screen. Cool. Reset zoom. Sound horn. Engine starters. Combined throttles up. Map screen. Dominic stability, running lights, navigation lights, instrument lights, and bridge systems. I hear something moving. Uh, it's probably the radar on top. Okay. Uh, search lights, radio, frequencies, flares, engage reverse, waypoint system. Let's go and have a look here. What else? So weather screen, cameras, zoom in, zoom out. Clear waypoints. Okay, so but then how does he get the waypoints on a screen? Uh, so we got speakers to actually talk between the rooms. That's quite nice. So the na navigation waypoint, pilot assist, weather screen, waypoint system, clear waypoints. Nothing turns on here. We got camera that we can turn on and off. Clear waypoints, weather screen, fuel on, it's fine. Okay, maybe you can switch something on this. Combine throttle steerage, no sound horn. Let's get our radar screen on and map screen. Okay, so I'm guessing, yeah, so he's using that for the waypoints, so you can then actually set your waypoints there. That's really cool. Okay, should we get everything out? Um, let's see if we can actually get this going. Okay, so we're gonna get the engine started here. Should be able to get all of them on. Okay, so those are all running now. So I think we're pretty much fine to get going here. Um, get dynamic stability on and then we'll get some combined throttle up. And there we go. Okay, that was relatively easy. Nice. Very nice and smooth. You can see in the front there, I think there's our steering, if I'm correct. Nice. The hull's a very unique shape in the front here. Really cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We can obviously use the turning. How well does it turn? Yeah, it turns very well. Try on the other side. Nice. And then you've got the navigation system, which should be working 100%. Let's just double check that. So we can just set a waypoint there, enter it in there. So it should log that waypoint. And then we can just turn the systems on. So piloting assist, and then it should go and maneuver. We'll set another waypoints. 
cool and then we can use the negative to zoom out and you'll see there it's got waypoint one waypoint two and it should in theory just drive to that waypoint and then it should switch around to the other waypoint after it's reached that but it looks like it's doing perfectly fine nice water cannon there's pretty much everything you need here Nice use of the screens also, tons of controls and I like how he's obviously sloped, sloped the controls there so it's all really nice and readable and accessible. So we're just coming up to our first waypoint, uh, actually we just hit it already, we're now on to our second waypoint. Cool so that's working perfectly fine. Yeah awesome 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 little creation, uh, oh, we've got some maneuvering systems here also, nice. Cool creation, definitely go and check this one out. It's absolutely gorgeous and you can spend hours figuring out all the systems and having a look and doing different things, uh, but really, really nice. Let's go and move on to the next creation. And moving on to the next creation, we have the Falcon Rocket Demo 2. This is a, a spaceship done by RJ Tech. Now, not much on the workshop in terms of features, but I think it says it in the name. This is a full-fledged uh, spaceship rocket. Pretty cool. Let's spawn it in and see if we can actually get it up into space. And spawning in the next creation. This rocket is really cool. Uh, I love the tower that he's got here. It looks like he's using radiators. Um, it just looks really cool on detailing. Uh, the rocket actually isn't doesn't look that big to be honest. Um, not the largest largest of rockets. Um, now it is laying flat. Apparently we do have to go up and uh, lift it into position. So let's go and see what we have. So I can open the door and we move in and we have a light. That's very useful. We have up, down, up, down. Where is the... Okay, maybe it really is down. Hold on, let's see. Up. Oh, yep. There we go. Okay, so now we're taking the lift all the way to the top. Can hardly actually move going so quickly oh okay and now we're at the top here and let's see what we have so pretty much just a bridge and we can go to raise rocket so now we can see it raising over here it should then come into position we should be able to just walk up into it might take a while for it to come up like the NASA logo and the American flag on it. Also the painting on it looks pretty cool. We're quite high up actually. Considering. Okay. And here comes the rockets. Looks like we have a button there. So probably access to get in there. wonder what happens with that. Because there's a support arm over there. So I wonder if that actually will go and fall. Or, yeah, the big support arm. Uh. Huh? Uh, okay. Sw uh, okay, swing bridge. That makes more sense. I was like, how am I meant to get there? The door's there. Okay. So, swing bridge, and we can then go and open the hatch. Nice. And then we can just go and get inside. So, I think we just use the seat, yep. Yeah. And then we can close the door. Okay, we have launch parachute and stage separation. Okay, so now we need to hmm, we need to swing the door away. Can we do it from here? Ah, there we go. So swing the bridge and close my door and back in my seat. And then I'm guessing it's just launching, possibly. Yeah. Okay. So let's hit the launch, uh, one, so disconnecting, launching, you can see those rockets at the bottom there trying to push us up, oh that's cool, we're actually going pretty straight at the moment, look at that, that has camera at the top, we can also, the camera at the bottom, camera at the top, Oh, 
awesome. I wonder how this would actually go and how long that fuel will last underneath. Still going. It's such a big rock. It must have so much fuel and it's what's making it so big and slow to get up here. Seems like we're almost pretty much straight still. I think we can, yeah, we can actually even correct it using WSAD. Okay, let's do stage separation. What? Oh, that's awesome. And then we have a parachute that we can go and deploy. This rocket is gonna continue going up. And then parachute. I don't think we're going quick enough. There we go. And now we've got our parachute that's going down to the ground. Oh, that's awesome. Very smooth, very clean. I like how he's got that. Oh, really cool. Uh, I think that rocket's still going. Uh, wait, no. I think it's finally... Oh, no, it's still going. Uh, yeah, awesome creation. Definitely a cool one. Let's go and move on to the next one. And moving on to the last creation of the episode, we have the Berserker Fishing Village and Airstrip. This is a creation done by Movie the Wolf. Now, this looks absolutely awesome. It's a full-fledged island uh, with an airstrip on there, tons of different features. You can walk around. So I'm really excited to check this one out. Um, but yeah, let's spawn this one and, and see what's going on. Okay, so we just came up to the next creation. We actually had to just go from O'Neill base and uh, you can see straight away we have the airstrip here uh, that is accessible so you can land your small planes and then we actually have the village which is coming up here. So let's go and land and let's have a look around and actually see what we have down there. So we just land the needle tail just down here. Uh, we actually have a helicopter pad. Nice, okay. Now let's go and land down here. Let's see all these buildings. Apparently every one of these buildings are fully detailed. So I really want to actually have a look around and see what's going on. I like he's got the little trees. Like a little farming area. Very nice. Let's go and land ourselves just down over here. And... Looks good to me. Fantastic. Let's jump out and let's see what we have. Okay, so we've got some like farming areas around here. Let's just take a walk down. Welcome. Okay. So, oh, oh. we have fire hydrants. That's cool. Okay, so we can take our way down here. Let's start down this end and then we'll move our way down to the other end. So we have two sheds of some sort on either side let's go and see what we have inside them okay so just some boxes and things inside it we have a nice water house here so we can open the door and inside we have a little lounge a kitchen and a nice little deck on the outside let's see what look at the beautiful view here we have let's open the door up again uh, we have some washing machines, a bedroom. Wow, it's got a big bedroom. Okay, cool. A TV. You can turn it on to a frequency. Cool. And a bathroom. Okay, cool. Guess it does nothing. Okay. Some bathroom lights. Cool. Okay, nice, nice house. Okay, here's our actual lighting that we needed earlier. Let's go and turn that off. Uh, doors are automatically closing, so that's useful. Uh, we have another red house here, so let's go and check out the red house. Then we'll move our way down, we'll go check out that white house, and then also the dock area. I wonder if this is the same. Okay, so it's actually a different layout, or it looks, yeah, it looks different. We have lights, actually, let's go and turn the lights on. Living room lighting there. We have a bathroom and a bedroom. Okay, so a very similar setup to the previous one. Okay, uh, let's carry on moving down. So there's our helicopter still over there. We have another house. This one's got some... Oh, they all have radio stuff on top of them. Okay. And then we have a smaller house just over here. Okay, so this is a emergency. So like a medical house. We have... Do we have lights anywhere? Oh, no. there we go. Lighting. 
So we got a bathroom for all genders, okay. A little file storage. That guys use the props. Uh oh, there's a nice little medical area. Lighting, medical house, patient. Okay. The patient room. Let's turn the lights off. We'll carry on moving through it. And then we just have some storage here at the back. Okay. Nice. Nice detailing. Uh we got some another small house here, another house, some sheds and things and some more houses. Let's go and check out this house. So this house is very different. So we have a slight little courtyard and I'm guessing it's a telephone. We have a garage or just a storage room of some sort. We have some plants and then we actually have another house. Let's go. This looks like a, this looks like kind of a more of a restaurant actually. Get the little door open. Lighting on. Oh, it's a bakery. Okay. Our bakery and then we got a exit to the bakery. Go up to the next level. What do we have up here? So let's get the hallway lighting on. We have a bedroom in the bakery. Okay, and like a lounge. Okay. I'm guessing that's also the bedroom. Let's go and see. Yeah. There's a bedroom and bathroom in there. Quite a big bathroom actually. Cool. Pause. Okay. Let's go and head down and we'll go out from here. What else do we have around here? It's starting to get dark and the reason why I left it because I want to see if any of these lights are going to automatically turn on. This looks like just another another house like we've seen before and a couple other houses. Okay. Oh yeah, the lighting is turned on. Okay, and let's go head over to the dock area. So much detail has gone into this. Nice trees. We have a little dock area. The sign of the town. Or village and then we have the little yeah, little dock even got electrical connectors for obviously to do some mooring if you need to but yeah awesome little village pretty much got everything you need it's got a bunch of houses a medical area it's got a little bakery in it helicopter pad it's got that little yacht area and it's even got that um that airport or the landing strip that you can go and land some small planes on. I'm guessing you probably could get some big planes on there because it looks like quite a big airstrip. Let's just actually fly over there. I just want to have a look at it in a little more detail. I'll get that on and let's get our landing lights on too. And we'll just head over there. Let's go and see what that looks like. So we have Looks like a tower with some lights on it. Let's go and land just over here. Okay, there is a railing. Okay, so there's a railing on that side and a railing on that side of the airstrip. And then we have our, looks like just a control tower. And what do we have down here? So, emergency lighting and then just look some lights and just a radio on top of it with oh, okay with the lights that are actually going around white and green okay cool and obviously all the lighting on the airstrip that's actually nice too with different colors white and then going into the green into the red really cool he's even yeah really nice i can see you probably hitting that with your plane um but yeah, really, really cool. Lovely creation and a nice one to end this episode off with. So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.